Assalamualaikum and hi everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can import the Excel data or the data that we have in the Excel into SPSS. So it's me, Dr. Ija. I'm going to guide you throughout the lecture. So let's say you already have your Excel file, which you have key in all the data in the Excel file. So what you need to do is just that you have to key in all the information or the data that you have in an Excel. And after that, you need to open your SPSS. Okay, I'm going to enlarge this. So this is a new SPSS file where we're going to export all the data that we have already key in the Excel into SPSS. So what you need to do is now you go to data and then you can go to Sorry, you go to file and then you can go to import data. Yeah, where we're now going to import the data from the Excel into the SPSS. So click Excel. And after you have clicked Excel, choose the Excel, um, you know, all the, choose the Excel file which contain the data that you already key in. In this case, I'm going to choose Excel example data SPSS. Open. And after that, you will see this box, yeah, read Excel file. You just click on read variable name from first row or data, percentage value, determine data type, which is 95, ignore hidden rows and column. And after you have selected that, and then just click OK. And what you will see now is that, okay, the data that you have keyed in in the XPSS has already imported into your, sorry, the data that you have keyed in the Excel has already been imported into your SPSS. So if you click on variable view, you can see all the variables, all right? And if you go to data view, these are all the variables, ID, gender, employee, job stress. This is the ID and this would be the code for gender, which is one is for male. 2 is for female and for employee 1 is lecturer 2 is teacher so perhaps for that maybe you can do the labeling here sorry the values where you need to key in the values of the variable all right where you need to key in 1 as male add and 2 as female and then add and click ok as for the employee, one is lecturer and two is teacher. So for employee, you need to key in the value one is for lecturer add and two is for teacher and then just add. Then you click OK. Then you can delete the information. Sorry. You can delete this information. Okay. So the remaining variable are ID, gender, employee, job stress, right? So oh, V5 is not uh, part of the variable, so I can delete that. So it's the same, right? You have ID, gender, employee, and job stress. It is the same as your Excel file, which contain your gender, employee, and also the job stress. So this is how we can import Excel into SPS, SPSS. All right, so let's look back at the file that we have imported all the data from the Excel. So um, if you have done the key in data in the Excel, there's no problem for you to import all the data into SPSS. So have a good, ha have a try and have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.